Hi, I'm Brian Schippenberg. I'm with the uh, Friends of the Kingwood Trail Group. Uh, today we're going to do a demonstration on uh, planting a tree, and we have um, some troops from Valawanti. Patty Thompson with Patty the Lower Thompson. Marion Conservancy. Patty Thompson, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Lindsay was the other girl. She's coming She's here. She's going to join us? Okay. Yep. Um, so we're going to do it from start to finish, uh, and um, we're going to explain how the whole thing works, and then um, so hopefully you guys can uh, just view this in the future and then understand how to do it. And uh, I think it's April 11th on Sunday afternoon. And um, I guess that's it. So right. thank you for joining us. I'm Patty with the Lower Marion Conservancy and I'm also a tree tender for the Pennsylvania Board of Cultural Society. So today we're going to be putting in a choke cherry tree. This is a bare root planting. So this tree doesn't have a great big ball of roots on the bottom. It was pulled up out of the soil. It's just very light, easy to carry the bare roots on it. It's wine at the top and um, get those branches undone. And then you start to dig your hole. You wanna leave the bag on a little bit longer so that the roots don't start to dry out. So are we ready to start digging our hole? Once we take this off, these trees, they kind of bend the leaves out, right? We do this out, run these branches out so that it's been bundled off and they need a little room to breathe. Okay. That's another great observation. Phyllis is reminding us to do a tiny bit of pruning for health, cutting okay. anything that's dead, diseased, or damaged. Okay. Because it's much easier to cut it when it's on the ground. Good point. Once it gets up in the air. Or something like that. Exactly right. Is that it? I think it's looking pretty good. This doesn't have a lot of damage. It's a really healthy tree. And do you guys remember that trick with the shovel? The most important thing is that we don't plant the tree too deeply. Yeah. What we're looking for here is something called a root flare. And that's where the roots begin to grow off the trunk. And so these gentlemen just pointed out, our root flare is about here. So it's where the trunk begins to swell. We want these top roots to be just below the surface. If they're planted too deeply, they don't get enough oxygen, or they don't get enough air, carbon dioxide, and then um, they just don't survive. So a lot of trees get planted too deeply, even at the nursery level. You can see this guy was into soil up to here when he really should have been something like this. Okay, so we need to put a little dirt in the hole. You make a little cone in there and you just tamp it gently with your foot. We don't want to stomp the heck out of it, but just kind of like a gentle tamp, just so it's firm. Yep, and so tamp all around in that hole too. Great. And I think our mouth could be just a, even a tiny bit bigger. Maybe a double. Maybe a double mouth. Okay. What do you got there? And go right ahead. One handful, you sprinkle it around, and where it rains, they grow and hold the water. Yep. And then as the um, as the rain stops, they shrink up and um, and allow, allow the water to get back to the roots. So the first two years is really critical for a tree this size, um, two inches in, di in uh, caliper. You want do two years of watering. So um, watering is really essential to, to rooting these in and, and having a good year. Okay, 
Okay, now we're going to keep filling in our hole. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, oh, okay. it's a fungus, and what it does is it attaches to the tree roots, and it helps break down nitrogen in the soil and make it available to the tree. So it's a symbiotic relationship between the fungus and the tree. So it just it's just an assistant. We call it a soil magnet. So one of those per tree. The other cool thing about bare roots is that um, they more quickly adjust to the soil that they're planted in as opposed to the bald burlap. They have like a little packet of their mother soil. These guys are ready to just root into the soil that they're planted in so there's no lag time. Okay, so let's continue to fill in our hole. We're going to level this out in the center here. You can feel the top root. Well, this is something else here. Well, maybe that's part of it. Yep, that needs to be very. Throw that in there. We can see we've got our nice root flare here. We did a good job citing that. We've got a nice kind of solid shelf in the back. A beautiful berm in the front. We'll pack that a little bit so that when the rain comes, a little bit prepared. grows the trunk will get bigger and then it'll choke itself so this is the proper way to knot these okay. so it's loose the tree can move a little bit to stimulate root growth but it's not going to fall over now this one i'm afraid we might have to move the opposite side obviously not very tight like this okay this is good now this is my unsolicited advertisement for these bags here. These are called tree gators. Okay, tree gators. These will save your new trees. Trees like to be watered, a lot of water, over a long number of hours, rather than a little bit of water every day. Deep root watering. So these guys will deliver up to 20 gallons over a period of five to nine hours. They go around the tree in the bottom are tiny little holes. The water comes out of slowly over a long period of time. The hole in the top, your garden hose goes in here. So this just gets slipped around the tree trunk like this. A tree like this will need watering for a couple of years. This saves a lot of effort and it waters the tree properly. So, this is so clever. It is clever. It up just like that. Is that reusable? Like, can you take it off? In a oh, year, or is it destroyed no, after? No, no, definitely. These are, you know, sun ready to be exposed to the sun kind of plastic. That's so awesome. So, and there you have it. The last step is filling this bag. And then that's it. You that's it? Well, that was really awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Hey, you know what? I want to, can we get together as a group in front of, uh, behind our tree? <clears throat> and just, uh, can we name it? <laughs> Hold on one second.